Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy. And I'm Lucas. And welcome back to Past. And today we're gonna be doing a comparison and versus video between the Ponage Ultra Custom Sim 2 Wireless and the Logitech G Pro Wireless X Super Lite. Yes, very long names for both of the mice. Yeah. Uh, the Sim is actually, I guess, mid-tier pricing. Not super cheap, not super expensive, but it's a wireless mouse, obviously. It's 110 bucks. And this is going for 150, although they did Dang. do a bit of price gouging after it came out and they sold out and they were oh, yeah. selling it for 200. We saw that. Um, don't think we didn't, but nowadays it's pretty red readily available. Ironically, the black one was sold out, but the white one was available, which is, it used to be the other way around when yeah. it was first coming out. Um, anyways, 110, 150, and links are below if you guys do want to get it let's talk about it yes and as far as the shape goes so uh it's pretty much the same if you compare it like uh, i would say the g pro x is just a tiny bit longer if you guys can see maybe like what five millimeters longer which is not a huge deal but of course it does affect if you have like uh, smaller hands uh the g pro definitely does fill up the hand more because of the higher arch and the arch is very very center in this mouse the sim 2 is more like in the back i would say but still pretty much in the center uh but it's a lot lower profile i feel like the main two like glaring differences with like the shape i, I guess and the feel of it is the contouring of the mouse buttons of course on the sim 2 um, as well as the contouring of the sides, um, they're a little bit more concave on the sides. The G Pro Wireless sort of just like, I don't know, sort of narrows out on its own. It's slightly, slightly concave, but all in all, I mean, it's it's a very, very similar shape, very similar feel. Switching from using the Super Light as my main to like the Sim 2, for example, I did not feel any like I didn't feel like I had to get used to anything. If you palm grip, I would say the Super Light is probably the better option just because it fills up the hand a little bit more, but also it's a little bit flatter. You know, it's a little bit flatter of a design. Uh, the Sim is kind of more rounded, I would say. It's curvy. It's, yeah, it's very curvy. She's thick. Dog. No, no, I guess not. She's not thick though. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Is she. That, that's a thick <laughs> one right there, right? Uh, but if you fingertip grip, I mean, this G Pro is still pretty damn nice, right? But then if you look kind of like more of a, a lower profile feel, then I would suggest the Sim 2. I mean, it's, it's pretty subjective in what kind of shape yeah. you like. Um, but I mean, I would prefer the Sim 2 because I do fingertip while I'm great because I do fingertip grip while I'm gaming. Uh, but like I said, the G Pro is still nice. Honestly, if you're into high profile mice, I would say get the G Pro Wireless, it's gonna be very familiar. Or if you wanna try a high profile mouse, like this is not a bad mouse to test um, at all. Like if you're just looking for a new mouse and you wanna try something new, G Pro Wireless X Super Lite is a phenomenal pick. Now the Sim 2, I think you're gonna be more used to it if you're used to low profile mouse. Maybe if you're coming from like a Razer Viper Ultimate or a Razer Viper 8K. Um, or an Endgame XM1, you know, and, and you might want a lower profile mouse just to just to get started. Sim 2 is phenomenal. Um, honestly, I love both of these shapes. I, I could use any one as my main and like any day of the week. They're same, phenomenal. Exactly, same with me, uh, but I would prefer the Sim 2 just a little bit more for gaming. All right, as far as the switchy switches go, we got KL 8.0 switches here on the Sim 2 wireless and they feel one of the it has one of the best switches in any gaming mouse and it feels it's just a nice hearty click just the right amount of pre-travel and post-travel for me personally and it just feels awesome it just sounds awesome as well right but the g pro x is still pretty damn nice i mean it's not yeah. as hard of a click though right so i mean I, honestly so here's the thing is they don't they don't tell us exactly what kind of switches are in the logitech i can't find it anywhere i don't know um, but they still feel great and obviously there's no button wobble because these sides kind of like prevent that from happening um, But they still feel pretty good. I would say the the sim 2 though I mean with the KLGM 8.0 is like it's got it beat. Yeah, and also the customizability You know, they give they give you those button spacers that can sort of adjust the feel so if you want a little bit more mushy of a feel um, or, or a tactile feel, you can change out the button spacers to get the feel that you're looking for Yes, so the customizability just can't be beat on this like yeah. just straight up um, as well as they did add a click tensioning system to prevent double clicking because that was an issue with the first G Pro Wireless. Now I can tell you I haven't had any issues when I was maining my original G Pro Wireless or the Super Lite with any sort of double clicking issues. So um, I guess they fixed it here, but I didn't experience it on the first one either, so. All right, as far as the side buttons go, um, I mean, they're just 
regular side buttons, but I would definitely say the G Pro definitely feels a lot mushier. You know, um, I mean, they're just side buttons. Everyone's used to mushy side buttons, I guess, but the Sim just feels a little bit more tactile, feels a little bit better. They both protrude out and they're both easy to press, so not a huge deal there. Uh, and as far as the scroll wheel goes, they both feel pretty similar, you know, kind of tactile steps, I would say, kind of. <laughs> yeah, right? they feel, I mean, they feel pretty tactile. I mean, yeah. a scroll wheel is a scroll wheel. Um, Sim 2 gets the edge because it's got RGB, so you're gonna you're gonna scroll faster, you're gonna hit more headshots. Of course. And that's just sort of how it is. Yes. Um, but as far as side buttons go, I just wish they still had side buttons on the right side. Why are we not doing this? You know, because like if, if it's if it's a true ambi, you want side buttons on both sides as well as I just selfishly want it for for my ring finger pressing those side buttons. Yeah, just the um, extra buttons. Man. But again, I'd give it to I give the edge to this to the Sim 2 on the side buttons as well as the scroll wheel. Sure. Yeah. Uh, also segueing into RGB, the uh, Logitech G Pro Wireless Super Light X has amazing RGB. You know, if you turn it on, there's a light here. <laughs> there's a light indicator right there. Tiny it's amazing. battery indicator basically. Yes. Um, which of course will help with headshots, but if you want to hit more headshots, the Sim 2 has way more RGB. It kind of sucks that it's on the back of the mouse though because your hand covers it, but there also is some RGB here on the scroll wheel. So if you like RGB, then the Sim 2 is better. And also it's really cool because uh, if you want to turn off the RGB and still have the mouse on, you don't have to go into the software to change that. There's a little button here, or I guess switch on the bottom of the mouse where you can change that. You can turn it on without RGB and you can turn it on with RGB, which is really cool. And again, we are of course joking about RGB. Like it's a wireless mouse, honestly, like if you're trying to say battery life if that's your main concern you shouldn't have on rgb no just straight up. like you it's gonna RGB. burn the battery faster no um but if you need to hit a lot of headshots in a short period of time of course turn on that rgb yes. and get popping heads you of, know what i'm saying yeah exactly um now battery life on these guys the sim 2 actually has the g pro wireless beat by about 10 hours so they've got 80 hours of battery life um for for active usage active gaming usage on the sim 2 and 70 hours for the g pro wireless yeah, so that's pretty cool. And as far as customization goes, there's no customization options for the G Pro wireless. That way, oh, oh. there's one customization that you can change out the <laughs> tiny little thing, and they have a PTFE skate version of that. Oh um, my god. I don't even, I'd never bothered. I and, think I threw it out. And if you want it to be lighter, then you can just play without it, right? The yeah. extra two grams makes a huge. No, I'm just. Uh, but the Sim 2, of course, with the customization of different colors is really, really cool. I mean, you don't really have the weight that you can, you know, change out like in the wired version, but it's still super customizable, which is really, really cool for the Sim 2. We absolutely love that. As far as the skates go, uh, we got pure PTFE skates on both of the mice. So, I mean, there's really no issues with that. They're both super smooth, very, very fast. As for the sensors in these guys, we've got obviously the Hero sensor in the G Pro Wireless, and then we've got a PAW3370 sensor in the sim 2 and they both feel phenomenal i wouldn't i couldn't compare the two to be honest like with with i think the basic like human reactions i don't think you could even <laughs> notice the difference yeah. you know so and also of course the dingle we got two dingles right here uh the g pro it's 150 bucks and we get a rubber cord which is Come amazing on, with the rubber me? dingles yeah uh, here in the ponage mouse, we got a very nice paracord. So of course, if you need to charge the mouse while you're gaming, then uh, you have a very nice paracorded wire. So I will that. say, so for 150 bucks, this should be paracorded. But at the same time, they both charge fast enough to where, like, if you charge it in like a queue or something like that, you're gonna be fine. True. Um, especially if you're playing New World in one of those queues for 48 hours, I mean, you'll be definitely be fine. You can and, charge your phone and your laptop too. And the thing is, though, this has what? What does it have, Lucas? That's not good USB. Yeah, yeah. We can and this has, over that. this has what? <laughs> has USB C. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. All right. As far as the weight goes, I feel like the G Pro is like lighter, right? I think it's 80 grams. 61 grams, my guy. I'm so off. <laughs> wow. And then the, I think this is like 70 something, right? Yeah, 75. So 15 75. grams is definitely a, that's a that's a big difference. I definitely noticed the weight. Uh, of course, you can shed off like, I think like four or five grams. You can shed grams. off like yeah, five grams if you get the honeycomb sides yeah. and the honeycomb, and the honeycomb top on there. Yeah, but it's not, yeah, I guess that does help a little bit, but I mean, I don't really like honeycomb sides. So the most, I would be able to shut off is like two grams, which is not a huge deal. Um, yeah, I mean, it's crazy because the G Pro is like way 
bigger and it fills up the hand a lot more, but it feels a lot lighter than the Sim 2. So, I mean, obviously if you want a lighter mouse, then the G Pro is probably the better option, but 70 to 80 grams is like the sweet spot for us, I would say. So, yeah, it's yeah. fine by me. It's Honestly, I haven't had a problem with either of these. I haven't been like, oh man, I'm using a freaking brick. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly, you know, like yeah. it's fine. Yeah. As far as total value goes, I would say the Sim 2 is better because it's cheaper. It's $40 cheaper. You got customization, you got a paracord, and uh, it's just uh, a great shape, better switches. So yeah, I would just definitely say the Sim 2. You can't really go wrong, right? I'd say as far as sheer value and as far as my personal preference, like gameplay wise, I'd use the Sim 2. I went from maining this for the past like year or so, whatever, since it came out, and then to now maining the Sim 2, and I've been maining this thing for a few weeks now, and it's just a phenomenal mouse. It's just, it's all in all, it's just an amazing mouse. I'm going to be maining it until something beats it, for sure. Yes. Um, with that being said, if you pick the G Pro Wireless X, you're not wrong for doing that, and it's not a bad mouse. Like, you're, you're still gonna be happy with it. I yeah, think. and the funny thing is I use the wired version of this mouse So that just tells you how nice this mouse is, right? Uh, but anyways, that, that about wraps it up again If you guys do want to get any of these mice, we'll leave a link in the description box But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one All right, as far as the clicky clicks go, we got KO 8.0 switches here in the scene 2 in the scene 2 All right, as far as the switch, switchy switchy sw <laughs> <laughs> The fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm a little tired.